In second place, two games to go, a six-point difference, the league can still be ours. We've got a little fat guy that will turn him inside out. Yes, Kai Show FM is it's me, FM Cheetah. You can call me Matt and welcome back to episode 42 of Conquering Clough. Well, could the league still be ours? Well, probably not. Uh, yes, we are six points behind uh, Liverpool if they win their game in hand. But with a goal difference of, uh, what, between us, 18 goals, they would have to lose the next two by 9 to 10 goals each, and we have to win the next two. That doesn't seem likely. But second place, however, is definitely ours. We've played 36 games. Chelsea's still behind us, but as you can see, they are seven points behind us, which means even if we lose the next two games, we still finish second. As such, the board has already set our initial budget, so we will have $87 million to spend next season with a wage budget of 3.4 million. It's a big hike. So 87 million, pretty good. And we may want to sell some players, but we will talk about that maybe at the end of this episode. That's a nice chunk of change. No, it doesn't mean we're going to bring in $140 million players. Well, I don't think so anyway, but it does mean we can reinforce where important. I think we already discussed this defense. I think defense is important to reinforce. Other announcements, youth intake. We rarely talk about it because it's always so very, very disappointing. Exceptional ratings across all our youth or not. They're always really underwhelming. So we only took, what, five of, uh, of the last uh, youth intake. Ben Holt, probably the star. And if you look at him, maybe not all that. Right back, not bad. I mean, he's actually not too bad. He's 16. Uh, he's got some developing to do. If we push him and train him hard enough, he might go well. He is the best of the bunch. I think he might even be... Uh, the best youth intake we've had. You remember Bjornsson, the Finn who looks so good. You know, I think the, I think this is comparatively, you know, a, a better a, a better intake and a better uh, a better player, a different kind of player, obviously. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep an eye on this. There were others, obviously, a couple of defenders here, a left back, Robert Strachan or Strawn or however you want to pronounce it. That looks nice, doesn't it? It does look nice. Uh, what bothers me about this is look at the development. Maybe two, maybe three stars could become, uh, you know, a player we're selling the championship for some good money or, or, or in the premiership for maybe, I don't know, 20, 30. I don't know how much if he develops because this is a good place to start. If, I, if this potential was a lot higher, you would think, oh yeah, I'm going to focus big time on Robert, but mm, the potential doesn't look right. Craig Highland, uh, the uh, left winger, uh, again, yeah, okay, you know, like some nice things, some crossing, some dribbling, bit of speed there, okay, you know, super brave, I guess. But then technique and first touch, not all that great. And again, you know, one and a half stars, maybe two and a half potential. Mm. Then we've got Phil Ray, the English center back, uh, not even one star. Yeah, and this is what you get for not even one star. And he was one of the better ones. Mm, and look at those down arrows, thrilling. Uh, lastly, Andreas Kerr. Andreas, a deep dip line playmaker, apparently, midfielder, a bit like a little left back, kind of interesting, you know. Technique's not great, but nice first touch. Really good vision, decent passing. Maybe another one who could develop, but look, one and a half to two and a half. I don't know, you know, you sell him to where? I don't know. Um, the championship, whatever league won for maybe 10 mil, I don't know. That's money. Uh, but at this stage of the game, we, we kind of, we really need, I really want before this series ends, I want a kick-ass youth prospect that we see by the end of the series develop into a real star. Could it be one of these guys? Maybe it's a Ben Holt. Uh, maybe it's our uh, our left back Strawn. I don't know. Mm, we'll see. All right, so two games today. The first one is away to Manchester United. Manchester United in fourth place, so they're not going to catch us. Did we beat them in the last game? A 1-1 draw at home. So there it is. Uh, could we beat them this time? That seems unlikely if we can only make a 1-1. But look, we've had a good run. Let's take a look. Last time you were here, it was for the second leg of the knockout round uh, uh, against Bayern. Bayern who were finally knocked out by mm, PSG. PSG in the Champions League final with, I think, Chelsea, bizarrely enough. Anyway, so after they knocked us out, 
Look, you'll notice the run went pretty good. A nil-nil draw with Arsenal away. It's probably not terrible. But then we managed to pick up 2-1 away win over Brentford. A 1-0 home win over Liverpool. After saying we'll probably lose it, we actually won it. It was a sort of ridiculous win. Did we deserve it? I don't know, but we won it. Uh, then a 1-1 draw with Leeds away. A late goal there from Leeds. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Yes, and I was right. 90th minute, we picked up an 80 minute. Null picked it up. And then Brenner picked up that 90th minute equaliser. Maybe it's indicative of the game. Then a 2-0 home win over Newcastle. A 3-2 tight contest away to Brighton. That a 2-1 home win to Western Villa. I've got to say, these games have all been very, very tight. They haven't been easy wins. So we're now away to United and afterwards home to Watford. Let's get on with it. Tactical meeting time, uh, opposition instructions. Of course, they want us to play positive. You know, I am going to play positive and we will defend more narrowly, but we will do one other thing. Here is the squad. So Gomez in goal. Pereira will start this game with Reddy and Kalki. who have got that nice relationship. Pisani on the left, of course, all playing fullback automated. So we're not attacking so much these days. In the center of defense, we've got Luis and Highfield. I do have Bernardo on the bench, but he's just, just come back from injury. He's had 45 minutes uh, with the under-23 team. So these boys are starting. Of course, Perot and Zabrun on the right and left, respectively. Null in the hole. Nino starts. Nino got a nice bit of form lately. Now, that thing I said I was going to change, I'm going to, I'm going to counter-press. We're going to go be balanced and we're going to counter-press. If I'm going to be balanced, I don't want to retreat. I want to kind of push a bit. We'll see how we go. Okay, dressing room time. You've been on a good run lately. Impress me, sure. Yeah, that's underwhelming. I trust you, though. I do trust the boys. Look at that. Motivated. Now, be motivated enough to win, fellas. Come on, let's get a goal. Let's get a goal quickly. Let's win. That'd be nice. Let's win two games in a row. Oh, we have come to a highlight. It is us, but uh, United have the ball. Howard Bella still here. Goes out to Salamakas, who's coming on the right there. Finds Emre. Oh, sees Rashford. Who does? Shit, my goodness. So Emre Oskan finds Rashford. Rashford chips, uh, chips the on-rushing Gomesh for a very early goal before five minutes. That's a very good finish. I've just said, watch this. You can see Rashford here. He makes his run on ready. Dear, oh dear. Will's not paying attention. Oh, I mean, look. You know, Gomesh wasn't even, I mean, he wasn't even running on. He was just so far out. Rashford easily chips him. I am going to yell demand more very early on. All right, another highlight. Mendy goes long. Uh, Rashford's now on the ball. He's going out wide, though. Nice cover there uh, from Ricardo Pereira. Will that be that? Nope, we've got the corner. It's in, oh, no, that's, apparently that is it. Yes, Pereira starting last two games. He's done pretty well for us, you'd have to say, after losing Bayanova. He's come in. He's on a 6.5 right now. That's not great. But look, he's done well, the old Portuguese. Another highlight uh, to Man U. Uh, it's defender, but only goes back to Howard Bellis. Beckley, oh, Beckley, we miss you. On the ball, goes through to Rainer, plays a through ball. Rainer crosses into Rashford. Rainer's back on it. He's going to shoot, finds Emre. Mateus, Yusuf Demir, can we clear it? Apparently we can't. Rainer's back on it. Oh, Rashford to Rainer. Ah, oh, too easy. They go 2 nil up. We are a mess. Look at us. If you look at the ratings, not looking good. We're two. Yeah, no, I think that's definitely in. Sure is. Goes straight to the 3D highlight. Nice bit of play here. They're playing well. Rainer, Rashford. Rainer's running back in. Too easy. Gomesh beaten tight on a 7-1 right now. Uh, mm, what do we do? Do we do we start? I'll tell you what we are going to do. We're going to go positive, and uh, but we're going to regroup because you know we want to get some goals back. And look, 11 shots, six on target versus our two and one. That is not good. All right, we're it's our highlight. Ready to go back to Gomesh. High field. I feel playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder who loses out to the Barcelona Loney. Rain is in on goal. An easy finish. We are 3-0 down within 40 minutes. This is not a good performance. We've not had a performance like this for quite some time. Mateus to Rashford. Rashford back to Mateus. Rain goes straight past. Who's this? Ricardo. Ricardo is a mess. Ricardo is a mess. We're going to have to do something about that right now well can we wait till half time let's have a look as we go to 40 minutes 
12 shots, seven on target versus our three and one. Yeah, not great. Let's see how we go. Hopefully we'll see that without conceding another goal. Ticking down, that's nice. still three for one. Still not getting the rub of the green here at all. Two minutes of injury time. As we go to 47 minutes, it's half time. That was terrible. That was just, just terrible. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to go wing back on defense. Uh, I think Pisani as well. He's on a 6-6, but I really don't care. And I'm going to let uh, Zabrun and, and Perot go to a more attacking mindset. Uh, and I think Perot's going to have to come on. Sorry, but Cabezas will come on there. I'm sure there's some worse performing players out there. Perot, Null. Yeah, everyone's looking pretty average. Uh, do I want to replace... I'm going to place Perot with uh, Gabby, who's, who did start on the bench, as an attacking inside forward. All right, so two changes at half time Into the dressing room. Let's give individual chats. Let's tell them. Okay, sorry about that, uh, Nathan. Motivated. Come on, let's get some goals back. Another highlight to Man United. Yusuf Demir on the ball. Back to Mateus. Redick. Oh, my goodness. Just... They're first to the ball every time. Rainer is shooting off the post. Pisani collects, goes to Zabrun, and that is that. They are first, that is it. First to the ball every time. They're just hungry, hungry to win this game. I can see that Null is on a 6-3, as is uh, Perninho. Uh, I, although, uh, given that I brought Gabby on, I, I can't really move Gabby there because I've got no one to replace him. I think Null is the player who's going to have to come off. Uh, and they're on the ball again. You said Demir to Emre. My goodness me. Null foul. No. Sure. On a 6-3. And now he's fouling in the box. Yep. Should have made that change a bit faster. As we go for the penalty check, which will be a penalty because it's never not a pen. I guess Marcus Rashford. No. Rayner steps up and puts it away for his hat trick, I believe. That's it. Hattrick, they're 4-0 up, and we are, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about your stupid penalty. I'm angry, and I'm really angry at you, Noel. What's he on? 6-1. You're a disgrace. You're coming off. And uh, James, James is coming on because I trust you. He's motivated. I just want some goals back. Can we get two goals back? Come on. Actually, you know what? We've got nothing to lose. Let us just go for it. Let's let's attack. Let's go forward. Uh, counter press. Um, sure. Why not? Higher tempo. Be more expressive. Go. Let's just go. And there we go. And I'm going to shout. I'm going to berate them. I'm going to berate them. They probably hate that, but I don't care. Oh, look, and it's a United highlight. Hernandez. Oh, Tizard's on the ball. That's something. James is coming forward. Goes to Fonino, who, of course, loses the ball. Mendy goes long. Fortunately, Reddy's there to gather. James coming in, cutting through the middle there, doing beautiful, love, just lovely movement. James is forward. He's going to cross into Bruin, but no one is there to follow up. Mendy has to put it out. Oh, for Nino, where were you there? Where were you? Have we got him on, on closing? We haven't got closing down the keeper. Let's close down the keeper. Can we get another shout? No, probably not. Do we go to attacking? Why not? Let's just go to attacking. Might as well. Barely 15 minutes to go. Come on. All right, 10 minutes to go. I'm going to go attacking fullbacks. Uh, yep, yeah, we will shorten the passing though. So Pisani can be an attacking fullback. Uh, yeah, sure. Cabezas, he's hopeless, but I'm going to make him attacking as well. I just don't care. We need to get forward. And uh, there you guys are on attack. Everyone's on attack. That sounds good. Let's do it. Come on. I don't care. We need to do it. There's a highlight, but it's probably not. Oh, Zabrun. Zabrun gets the ball from Salamakis, finds Pisani. Pisani. Oh, Zabrun was taken out by Salamakis. We will get a pen. Can we dispatch? Who's going to take the pen? Will it be for Nino? Will it be for Nino? I don't remember. Let's watch. It's ours. Who's stepping up? I don't know. It's 10. Is it 10? 16. It's Highfield. Josh. Bung it away, son. He does bung it away. He puts it away. Third goal of the season. We do get a goal back. That's something. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it in 3D because, you know, it's my only goal so far. There it is. Nice. Okay. Can we get another goal? One more goal. Come on. Let's come on. Encourage them. Come on. One more goal. Do it. 
All right, we move to 90 minutes. We've not had another highlight. We've only got three minutes of injury time, but we do have a Man United go. Oh, my God. Emre puts it away. What happened there? Let me have a look at that. Was that Cabezas? Was that Cabezas who completely missed him? There's Emre. No one's on him. Who is that? I think that's Cabezas. It is, and whoever that idiot was marking him. My goodness, 5-1 flogging and we've not had a loss like this for a long time a long long time there it is 5-1 loss into the dressing room thrash your arms i'm far from pleased oh yeah motivated be goddamn motivated yes yeah, so chelsea did they play today they did and they won so they're on 72 we're on 74 as i said we can't they can't beat us now I would like better goal difference than them. I don't know what their last game is. Ours is against Watford, so I want to grab... I need at least two goals back to, to equalise them now. And and Watford, they've had a great second half of the season. Yes, they're in 14th, but they were, they were really struggling. They've, they've done pretty well. They won today over Newcastle. 44, nice. I just want to go and smash them now. We need to... Like, I want a sick... Like, we'll just smash them. Smash. Hulk! Smash! And we are back for the last game of the season. I think the first thing we should do is acknowledge Liverpool as champions of England. Currently on 88 points, we're on 76, a 12-point margin, a significant victory. Not the high 90s that we've, we've seen in the past. You know, we gave it a good go. And in fact, I think generally, uh, you know, there was a, a lot of teams who, who bid pretty well. Uh, but no one could touch Liverpool. Maybe two, a couple of losses, not much. Some draws, obviously. Um, yes, yeah, so congratulations. They've taken our title from us, very much like uh, Cluffy. In fact, I believe he lost to Liverpool the following season after he won the first division. Our job, obviously, is to take it back very, very soon so we can continue conquering Clough. The other thing to acknowledge, Aston Villa, relegated. They're down, 35 points. They are down. I'm having a sniff around a couple of their youngsters. Bit of a surprise, you'd have to say. Southampton and, and Villa and Tottenham at one stage were all fighting it out for that relegation zone. But Tottenham and Southampton manager just sort of pull away late in the season. Anyway, that is enough of that. I just want to go and spank Watford as many, uh, by as many goals as possible. Chelsea at home to Arsenal. Liverpool beat Arsenal home uh, 3-1. Can Chelsea beat Arsenal? Let's hope not. Or if so, 1-0 when we can go and smash uh, Watford 5-1 because I want to finish on superior goal difference. I just want that. All right, tactical meeting time. We will take the opposition instructions. I'm not going to take anything else. Look at that squad. Nice. You, of course, there is Arezzo. He is starting today. Karim Tal is there too. They have caused us problems in the past. Um, Arezzo. Oh, is he on loan? Is that why he's at Watford? Is that the story? He's currently injured. He's a bit injured. No, he's, he's there. Oh, he's a bit injured. That's a shame. Here we are, final squad of the season. Gomesh Ingol Pereira, his last game for us, retiring at the end of this season. Reddy and Kalki in the centre defence. Bazzani, of course, on the left. Bernardo will finish the season on this game. He will actually start uh, as a deep line playmack on support. And we will move Highfield back. Oh, wait a second. We need to swap them, actually. So let's swap them around. Uh, because we want uh, Highfield is the lefty. I'm just going to pop those around. But they will finish the season together while they start the end last game of the season together. Null in the hole. Gabby Barbosa will start on the right because Perot hasn't been very good. I mean, Gabby hasn't been great, but Perot's had a pretty average season. So Bruin, he is the best player this season by far. He's starting out there on the left attacking and putting for Nino up front because why not? I'm not sure if he'll be here next season, but we'll talk about that a bit later on. Okay, get out there and show the world you've got what it takes. They do. They're very motivated. They know I trust them. Let's go and win. I want goals. I want them early. We're playing positively. We're counter-pressing. Are we pressing? I don't even remember anymore. Are we pressing? Let's have a look. I think we might be. No, we're not, but we're going to. We're just going for it. I want to win. I don't care. It's the last game of the season. All right, first highlight is Watford's. Uh, who's that? Fashon Jr. Fafana. Cook puts it in. Tal is there, but Gomesh collects. Was that offside? I think it was. We get a free kick, which I'm sure we're going to see. I can see Liverpool already leading Newcastle 1 0. Chelsea yet to score. We want to stay. I want to stay 12 points to Liverpool too. I want to say, hey, we're here knocking on the door. All right, next highlight. It is Pisani. Goes to Zabrun to Null. Null's cutting into the center. He's going to shoot. You know he is. It's wild, though. Wild and over. I have given him a bit of a G up. There's a lot of smiling faces out there. Do we attack? Mm, not yet. 
Another highlight, Pisani to Zabrun. What's Zabrun going to do? He's going back to Zabrun. Oh, Gabby. Gabby was pushed by Latomba. Uh, it's going to be a pen, and that means it's Paolo Bernardo to step up. Yep, come on, pen. Of course it's a pen. All right. Paolo's going to step up, isn't he? Yes, he is. Here he is. He's lining up. Come on, Paolo. Put us 1-0 up. He puts us up. It's a smooth pen. 27th minute. Eighth goal of the season there for Paolo. Nice. That's nice from the midfielder. Watch him slot at home in three dimensions. Look, he's never, like, he's just going, yep, I'm always making this. I'm totally confident. And he is. Good. We're 1-0. I want more, though. Okay, 35 minutes. Oh, we do have another highlight. Rebelo is on the ball. Moving the ball around well. Fashion Jr. is on. Finds it. So it's back to Fashion Jr. It, oh, wow. We are lucky to escape that. Gabby's on the ball. He goes for Fernino. Null is on it. Still going here. Paolo Bernardo is looking for Zabrun. who's tearing forward. Is there another goal here? High field to Zabrun. Cutting in. Paolo Null on the ball. Finds Gabby. He's dispossessed, though. Too far to Matias Arezzo. He's down. Oh, but Ricardo takes him out. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to get further up as well. I want to go further up. In fact, I don't want to push him on the outside. And then I want to give them a shout. I want them. I want to demand more. I want more. I want more. Uh, nicely, uh, Arsenal are leading Chelsea. That's good. Nice gap between them. All right, one minute of injury time, which we will see. It's only a 1-0 lead at the moment. Given that we're dominating so many, seven shots, three on target. 47% uh, of the possession now. Uh, yeah, going well, thinking better. Mm, uh, what I, don't, I, I don't want to get complacent, and we're going to tell them you weren't as bad as all that. Happy with your playmaking efforts. That will do. Let's not get them too excited. Am I playing short of passing? I believe we are. We are playing short of passing. That's good. We want to hold the possession. Why aren't we holding the possession? Don't like that. Uh, Gabby's on a 6-5 and uh, uh, Newell is on a 6-6. Six, six. We'll leave that for now, I think. Yeah, let's leave it for now. Let's We, we are leaving. Let's go back out there. If it's one of the defenders, I would be nervous. It's not. I think Gabby, get some goals, mate. It's a highlight. Zabrun, outswinger. He's on it. Cook collects. He's coming forward. Coming well forward. He releases Fashion Jr. who scores. No. Absolutely not. It did look a little offside. Was it? It was. What a shame. Yeah, he looked just he just looked like he slipped forward a little bit. There he is. He's just yeah, uh, that's a shame. Oh well, come on. That's not good though. I'm not happy with that. Okay, as we move towards 60 minutes, we are going to do some substitutions. It is going to be Perot that comes on for Gabby, who can't get past the 6-4. Not a great finish from him. Uh, yeah, let's keep him on as an inside forward on attack. And you know what? You know what? I brought Mansouri with us, and I'm going to play him. Let's play him. Advanced. That's not correct. As an advanced forward. So we won't work the ball into the box. We're going to go for a bit of this, a bit of early crosses, and a bit, a bit of low crossing uh and you know what no actually we'll leave no mm, no actually you know what let's make him attack let's make them all attack let's hand in pockets no let's pump the fist make me proud mansuri it'd be nice if mansuri got a goal uh for his uh game one only game of the season the first team paulo's on the ball for nino shoots rodic saves for nino looks offside there will be a corner but i suspect we won't see that we don't all right, another highlight. Uh, we did dispossess. Null's on the board. High field to Kalki. You know, I feel like I should have gone longer passing now that we've got an advance forward going. Yeah, just to, you know, play into space, make the most of those runs. Perot, he does go long. He goes to Zabruin, who crosses into Mansouri, who scores in Mad Mansouri. First goal of the season. Yeah, scores on his debut. Fantastic stuff. That is really, really good. Let's have a look at this. Put up with that big ball upfield to Zabrun. He's on it. You can see Mansouri there. He's like, yep, have this. Mansouri, what a cheeky little in finish with your left foot. Lovely stuff. I think what we'll do now, given that we're 2-0 up, I think maybe I'm getting a little carried away. I think we will. We're going to push back. We're going to drop all this. We don't need any of this. And, and we'll drop back to regrouping, hey? 
Hey, give the boys a rest. As we do move to 70 minutes, what's great is Arsenal still beating Chelsea. Love that. Uh, and Liverpool, only 1-0 up against uh, Newcastle. So do we want to make one more change? Zabrun is tired, but he's so good. Walter Null's not having a great game, so guess what? Tizard's coming on. I'm sorry, Zabrun, you're staying on it. It is the last game of the season. Tizard's happy. We love James. We want to see him get more game time. Remember that 9.1 where he came in and turned the game around? That's what we want. One more goal. One more goal. So 80 minutes. Let's do a uh, cash of encourage. That's probably going to fall flat. But you know, yeah, it did fall flat. What I will do is we will, we're will just going to keep with counter-pressing. I know everyone's tired. It doesn't matter. It's the last game of the season. It doesn't matter. 12 shots, 7 on target. They're still controlling the possession. But anyway, what we might do actually is just before we will take that passing out of shorter, see if we can make one more run on the goal. Who's the Arsenal still beating Chelsea? That's not Liverpool still 1-0 up against Newcastle. Four minutes of injury time. We'll see it out with a win, but can we get another goal? No, but we can get an injury. Yay, that's great. Uh, <laughs> so what's going to happen here is, uh, yeah, please move over, Kalki, is uh, Highfield's coming on because he can play in the center of France and he'll play as a ball-winning midfielder. Bernardo go, will go uh, to midfield as a defensive, um, um, defensive uh, playmaker. Let's get Pereira a little forward, win back on support. Let's get Tizard on support. Uh, let's, uh, you know what? Let's let's get them all. Let's get them all on support, hey? Just for now, on support. And of course, what we will do, uh, can we? Yes, surely we can. Can't really? Can't do that? Okay, we can't do that. So that will do for now. Let's make that change. Uh, that's done. But while we're at it, as we're in the 93rd minute, um, we will, in fact, uh, go to regrouping and hell, why not? Let's do it. Shorter passing, lower tempo, time wasting, set pieces. Let's see the game out. Moments to go. We collect a 2-0 home. Oh, what? Wait. Wait. Oh, this is wait. Zabrun, in swinger, fires it in. It is clear. Palo Bernardo's running for it, though. Will it matter? Will it matter to Highfield, to Kalki, to Tizard, who's looking for Jan Parok, back to Ricardo, shoots into Brun. Was he onside? What an amazing end of the season if he was. Come on. Come on, Lucio, be onside. I don't think he was, though. He wasn't. Oh, well, that would have been a wonderful end to the season for the player of the season. Yes, we know. It's offside. We don't need to see that. We just need the whistle. The whistle will come. Oh, it is come. It's full time. It's a 2-0 win. Let's get in the dressing room. Let's tell them, nice victory. Well done. They're motivated. All right. That is the end of the season. Chelsea did lose their last game. We should mean we finished six points above them. Oh, sorry. No. 70. No. We, that's, that's actually Chelsea is fourth place. So uh, it was the United who moved up to 73. Better goal difference than us, but we're six points ahead of them. Suck it, Man United. Uh, Chelsea lost their game. Man, uh, City won 4-0 their last game. Did they get a European spot? I think they did, actually. Uh, United obviously won their last game. 1-0 over Leeds. Yep, sure. That's fine. Whatever. We got second place. We had second place for quite a while. It's ours. We've got our $86 million in the bank to spend. Um, we're going to have a chat about that. At, at some point, we're going to talk about players that we could possibly go and players that we definitely need to bring in. But first, let's do an end-of-season review. And here we are for the 2028-29 end-of-season review. The new arrivals. Imad Mansouri, top of the table there with a seven-point... What is that? Two. Can't see because, uh, you know, blind. Uh, yeah, one, <laughs> one goal uh, off the bench. Yeah. I guess so. Why not? I mean, that, that earns you a 7.2. Uh, cost us money. Cost us money. So we're going to need to make sure that Ahmad develops over the next few years. Afiani Albagmiro, I think, from Liverpool, you know, up to 60 mil. Mm. Uh, also a nice rating, given that he didn't play consistently. Uh, I think when uh, Will Reddy was out, he had a nice little run and he's managed to slip it occasionally at left back. Another young star. It's always hard, isn't it, when you bring in those young players? Do you, you know, do you keep them in the squad and give them a bit of squad time, or do you send them out and then 
essentially rely on junk for you know your rotation squad for cup games things like that well my if i were to do that i'd have nothing left and i'd progress not at all so i, I really need these guys here but i also need them to develop to develop i need to play games mm. the ratings quickly fall off after that i mean edo beers the the loney who we can still purchase we talked about jan parot having not a great season this year Gabby Barras also came in, obviously, in the January window. Not great, 6 6 7. Uh, goals, though. Goals. He did manage to do it, but he's, he's had a lot of missed opportunities, let's say. Um, we'll hope to get more out of him next season. Look, $9 million, not the worst money spent. Uh, Kieran Relish really didn't feature at all. The one who, the one disappointed, Abluusu, uh, yeah, injured. Uh, doesn't seem to be injury prone, but would constantly be injured with little things niggles that would last a couple of weeks and just wouldn't see him play he's really quite good uh with lots of potential but i don't have 94 million sitting in there i mean this is a good player 20 years old still got a fair bit of developing to do not the most consistent but you know he's only 20 that can change uh, yeah mm, but again 94 million don't have it one interesting thing here, it loans out. James Claridge, uh, James went to Sheffield United this season on a seven, did well. Um, he's now 25. He's never featured for a, in a competitive match for uh, Nottingham Forest. He's been here forever. I mean, he was here when we got here. Uh, and I mean, he's kind of, he's done all right, really. When you look at that, you think that's not bad. You know, if you were in, in League One or lower league, lower championship i should say you'd pick up james for for a, maybe not for a few million but that's it he is contracted to 30 30. i think it's probably time we move james on you'll never get a game with us um and he can go have a career he can actually start his life leave home and start to become a big grown-up boy sorry real james if you're watching didn't mean anything uh, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, it just never really happened. Season to remember. Well, look, it was a good season at the end. You just can't stop Liverpool, can you? They're just, they're so good. Um, you know, well above us, 91 points they finished on. So 12 points ahead, excuse that, the uh, garbage trucks came past. Uh, a B, really a B? Uh, a minus at least, I would have thought. Yeah, um, I mean, look, Six points uh, above Man U, uh, seven points above Chelsea. I mean, West Ham and Leicester, like us, are starting to rise up. Arsenal, uh, just outside of Europe by the look of it. Uh, Man City in seventh. There you go. And then you've got uh, clubs like Tottenham down there. Um, Newcastle just can't ever seem to do it. They don't seem to do it in any save I see. The board expectation was that we were to qualify for the Euro Cup. Obviously, we're in the Champions League, so they are happy. Average attendance over 40,000, just shy of 41,000. That's good, that is a full stadium. Moments to remember that I never remember. Biggest win, 5-0 over Doncaster in the Carabao Cup. That was, I think, the first round of the Carabao Cup, or our first round of the Carabao Cup. Yeah, I'd hope I could beat Doncaster 5-0. 3-1 uh, win over City. Weirdly, I don't remember that, um, but sure, that would have, I would have been happy at the time. And yes, the goal of the season came out of that. Zabrun, of course, Zabrun. Uh, scoring with a well-struck effort from 23 metres. Lucho, what would we be without you? This is probably the thing I am the happiest about, uh, and we'll have a bit of a deeper look at this when we finish the season in review. Uh, good, good season financially. The only thing that dropped was a broadcast revenue by 5 million, but sponsorships up, corporate hospitality is up, uh, competitive prize money is up, of course. Uh, because of Champions League, I mean, you know, double almost. Uh, and matchday commercial revenue is up. Zebrun, number one shirt, as you expect. Highfield, Pedot, Gabby Cabize, of course, coming in. And Null. Yeah, that's that's nice. You'd expect that again. Papa Bernardo, poor Paolo. Uh, who else isn't there? Uh, Rafa Luis, sure. I mean, maybe not. But Zebrun, number one, that makes sense. Highfield, yeah, he's pretty important, let's be honest. Perot, hey? I mean, he is a star. Oh, well, we did bring him in this season, so I guess that makes sense. We actually brought him in. Yeah, and Gabby. Oh, let's hope we can make Gabby pay off. How we lined up? Yeah, shock horror. 4 2 3 1. There it is. Ricardo Pereira. He ended up being so important for us after Bayanova finished. Of course, Kalki and uh, Reddy in the center of defense. Pisani, as always. Bernardo and Highfield. Uh, yep, that's true. Perot, no, Zebrun. But Nino up front. Yeah, if we remember last season, our winning season, there was a lot of sevens there. In fact, there may have only been one below seven, if there was even. And I think that is the difference, really. Um, 
Zabrun, 17 goals, you know, more goals than uh, for Nino. Yeah, um, <laughs> someone who can finish up front would be good. I mean, it's good. It's good that Lucio can put goals away. That's super important. Uh, but, you know, we need more. More goals, clearly. The accolades. Okay, so uh, English Manager of the Month, August and April. We didn't win it for the year. I would imagine Klopp won that, given that, you know, he won the league. Zabrun, Fans Player of the Year. I mean, easily Fans Player of the Year. Young Player of the Year. Signing of the Year was Efiani Ogbemiro. That's nice. Goal of the season, as we know, is uh, Lucho Zabrun's. Most assists, Lucho Zabrun's. Highest average rating. Lucho Zebrun, and of course, most passes. Oh, wow. So remember when this was uh, Rafa Luis, he was always completing the most passes because he didn't play enough time. Uh, this time it's Highfield, and I think sort of for a similar reason. In the end, Rafa Luis had to step in uh, for him after he had that big injury. Uh, and so Highfield managed to step up in terms of most completed passes. And most player uh, of the match awards 10 Lucho Zebrun. Yeah. Wow. We need to hold on to him. And that's it. That is the season. All right, Club Vision's expectation meeting. We need to have that. Let's go and negotiate it right now. Uh, make the most of set pieces, the def possession defensively. Let's try and negotiate one of these. I don't think it ever works, does it? Um, what do we want to do? Well, let's drop defensively <laughs> solid. Oh, it worked. There we go. Cool. Um, fine. Uh, we'll, we'll concede goals then, I guess. Work within a wage budget, of course, increase commercial revenue, top half Premier League finish, uh, and uh, reach the group stage of the Champions League. We are in the group stage of the Champions League. So I guess winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, the dreaded end of season team meeting, although they have been pretty good generally. Uh, so it's been a long season. Mm, no, we, I appreciate all your hard work when it comes your back. Let's challenge finishing the top half. Everyone's pleased. That's good. Let's pump the fists. That's what I want to hear. Um, we want to give a good account of ourselves in the Champions League. Yes, of course we do. Of course we do. Uh, once you return, we'll talk about all that. Uh, yep, yeah, great. Thank you very much. Have a great break. Good. Good stuff. That's nice. I mean, you know, everyone's morale is high. They're on holiday. It was a very, very Good season, end of season break has begun. Camp destination already. I think we did USA last time. Singapore, don't want to do China. Let's do Singapore. We'll do it. Do Singapore, nice trip there. Tizard is now capable of uh, overhead kicks. Let's look at James Tizard. Hey, what a special player he is. To the 21 year old, still developing. Lots of pros there. He's, I mean, he's a special player now, isn't he? He isn't the kind of potentially you know, gifted player we had when he first joined. He is special. He needs game time. How do we get him game time? Mm, where do we fit him in? Can play as a striker? I mean, that's actually what he's meant to do is play as a striker. But obviously, I mean, advance forward, I mean, he can't finish. Um, mm, I mean, can he pass? He can pass. Deep lying forward, do I want to play? But if he's deep lying forward, he's got to be strong, right? Yeah, false nine. I don't mean false nining. Mm, anyway, We'll think about that when we come back. But yeah, he needs to play. He's very special. Very special. Uh, Kabasas adapts from refraining from long shots. Yeah, good. Kabasas. Yeah, okay. So uh, didn't have the start we wanted to have. And, you know, this is an area we need to think about. He will feature. He will. Well, he'll stay on the bench, I'd imagine. I think we need someone a bit stronger than him starting for us at right bank. Uh, Salah, uh, football of the year. We He was almost going to be out of contract this season. I thought maybe we could sneak in. But he did sign a one-year extension. So he's going to 2030. The 36-year-old, look at him. Look at him. I mean, 36. So what about these legacy players, man? Just terrible. Uh, goal of the season. Uh, well, Zabrun was second. Lucio, good on you, Lucio. Uh, Safan Muranta uh, was uh, goal of the season. I don't know. But Zabrun, second place. Good. That's nice to see. Maximiliano. Luis Maximiliano wins. Uh, who's that? Wins uh, Golden Gloves. Andre Gomes is uh, third. Okay, that's nice. Good. He had he had a decent season, had a couple of wobbles there. But Andre, of course, as we've said, he's come across as, you know, he's a really special keeper now. Pisani and Fernino make the... What, what, Zabrun doesn't make it? That's outrageous. So uh, Pisani and, and Fernino make uh, the, the uh, Premier League team of the season. Best left back, I guess, and one of the best strikers. Yeah, okay. Is that right? Well, no, it's not right. I mean, there's goals of the season. He's not even in the top eight. Why is he? How is that possible? Why is he, you know, not in? 
why is it not someone else? I mean, where is he? He was like, he's way down here, isn't he? He's in 18th, and yet he's in, uh, wait, was that of the month or the year? No, it is the year. No idea why that's the case. All right, now we need to talk about Kevin. Kevin right back, that is, because we know that Pereira is going this season. He's done really, he's retiring from football. Retiring from football, hey? Okay, I mean, fine. You can see his physicals have dropped off. I mean, he, we started the season at 14. He's now at 12. So 35-year-old is dropping off physically rapidly. But retiring, hey? I guess he's tired. So we know we have now, uh, I think, 86 million to spend. Uh, what we urgently need is a really, really good right back. Um, that's it. Now we've got um, we, we've got uh, covers us here who can step in. He is a breakthrough prospect, but we need a first starting right back. That is priority number one. Uh, we've got Pisani. He's just like got a little niggle, so he's out at the moment for a few weeks. Ogba Gomero can back him up. That's good. Hablusu, maybe we can extend his loan. Um, that's probably the thing to do. Extend his loan. So we need that. Now Perotta's on the right. That means we don't need relish and or beers, although one of them, beers, would cost us 29 million from Ajax. Uh, 29 million for the player on two stars, got four, but he is fairly susceptible to injuries. I don't like that, even though he's consistent and love big matches. And to be honest, mm, I don't know. I'd if he was a 19 year old and I saw those numbers, I'd be excited. So I don't know about that. But yes, so we've got Gabby who can play on the right. Obviously we've got Perol, we can slip Gabby in there and Fernino or Albert can be there. Now, speaking of Fernino and Albert, we did this, uh, and I think in the previous episode, uh, we were comparing Albert to Fernino and they're very close, but Albert isn't developing. And I think, I think we need to start playing him. I think we need to start playing for Nino. He is consistent uh, and there's no real negs there. If we look at for Nino's traits, uh, we'll, I mean, nothing bad there, of course, but injury prone. He's consistent too, but he's a bit injury prone. Now, brought him in for 20 million. If we could sell him for 20 million, you know, and break even, I'd be, I think I might be happy with that. I think I might be happy as long as I don't sell him within the league. No one wants him at the moment, but maybe for 20 million they would. Albert can step in that role. Well, actually, Gabby can step in that role and Albert can deputize for him. And let's don't forget we have Imad Mansouri, who we need to develop as quickly as possible. Now, we've got Garro um, for center of midfield. He will be backing up uh, Null, of course. So, um, and Gallagher's still here. Josh Highfield's still here, uh, of course, Bernardo. Gallagher's 29 now, and there were at one stage some player, people interested in him. Uh, he's, I don't know, he's not worth all that, you know, he's worth a little bit, but do we need to sell a 29-year-old on and use that money to bring in some a young prospect? That way, Rafa Luis, Bernardo, and Highfield can dominate the center of midfield, and whoever comes in for Gallagher you know, breakthrough prospect, real talent. He can step in occasionally. I'm, that might be it because definitely I don't want to sell um, Paolo, uh, Luis or Highfield. That's for sure. And it's going to be hard to keep the attention off them. That sounds right. So maybe selling Gallagher, maybe selling for Nino uh, and we bring back um, Abelusu on loan and bring in a proper right back, you know, and bring in a... Um, you know, a, a, a breakthrough prospect. Garo is here. Garo is excellent. Garo is so good, the 19-year-old. He can play in that role. Well, maybe we don't. Maybe we don't need to do that at all. Maybe we just need to put some money together, bring in a really good young prospect strike. I don't know. I don't know. But definitely right back, sell a couple of players. Do we need to bring in, well, actually left back. In fact, do we need to bring in a young left back prospect to support Pisani? Then maybe we need to do that. Yeah. Okay. So, Small changes, small tweaks. I really want someone who can put away a lot of goals. Hopefully that can be Gabby next season. We have a look at Gabby. I mean, you know, there he is. He's consistent. He loves big games. He's he's good. He's, he's doing well. He can finish. He'll step up next season, I feel. Step up next season, which means we may then need support on the right. Maybe we can find the young inverted right winger, you know, a, a relish or a, or a beers that we can buy in, you know. But we'll sell probably Gallagher. Uh, and for Nino, you know, that could be another 50 million in the bank. Ivings is here too. He's 21. Now, I haven't sold him, but he is wanted. Uh, and he's worth, you know, a lot of money. Now, the question is, what do we do with him? Now, positionally, uh, he can play in the middle or he can play on the left. And then Garo in the center. Yeah, I guess so. It's just his passing has never improved. You know, he hasn't got a long shot on him. I don't know. You know, he's good, but... 
I don't know, he's low passing. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, decision to be made. Decision to be made to come back for, and we can talk about it. Now, we need to talk about one other thing. Uh, now, I'm in the process of moving, leaving where I am right now and going somewhere else. Uh, that's obviously, uh, of course, it's a lot of work to do all that. So in the short term, I'm going to go to two episodes a week. That will be Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm struggling to get three episodes out and apply for a lot of places and do all the stuff you need to do in life. However, those mid-season episodes will be a bit richer. I don't want to lose the narrative of the players here. So they will probably go to a, a 25, 30 minute episode. I mean, I know some of them do that anyway, but I don't I don't want it. There won't be any more sort of 12, 6, 15 minute episodes because I want to keep you, I want to keep the story going and I want to keep you engaged in the story because that's what we're here for. We're here for the FM story. That's for sure. That's what I'm here for. Um, and watch the development. Watch James Tizard become one of the greatest players in the world. That's 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 what FM, long-term FM is all about. Season nine next season, and we still have three Champions League to win and another Premier League and hopefully some Carabao Cups to in order, you know, to conquer Clough, which is what we're here for. Yeah, okay. That's it for now, I guess. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. There's plenty of content to get through. Season 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, five seasons left. We've got five seasons to do it in. Wow. Can we do it? I don't know. And what is it? It's April. It's April. We've essentially got two months now in real time to get through this. Okay. Hope you stick with it. Thank you so much for staying with it for so long too. Until next time. Last it after.